Assalamualaikum, I am Nurul Afifah together with my group member Muhammad Azli Rizal, Alia Mesra Anwar, Muhammad Faiz Ruslan and Katikayan Anak Lelaki Katikesu. We are from Group 12. Today we're going to present about the Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Stadium Roof Collapse. The Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Stadium Roof Collapse in Kuala Terengganu, Malaysia serve as a compelling case that sheds light on the causes, impact and lessons learned from a significant structural failure. Following the roof collapse, an exhaustive investigation was launched to determine the underlying causes. Experts meticulously examined the uncovering design flaws, construction deficiencies, and potential maintenance of a site that may have contributed to the collapse. This finding emphasized the need for comprehensive risk assessment, stringent quality control, and adherence to building codes and regulations throughout the construction process. During a momentous sporting event, the stadium's roof suddenly collapsed, causing panic and chaos among the spectators, athletes, and emergency responders present. This tragic incident resulted in the loss of life, numerous injuries, extensive property damage, and significant disruption to the local community. This incident had far-reaching consequences for both the physical infrastructure and the surrounding community. Understanding the details of this case can provide valuable insights into the importance of robust engineering practice through inspection and ongoing maintenance in ensuring the safety and integrity of large-scale architectural projects. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to all of you. My name is Muhammad Faiz Peroslan and today I would like to talk about the ethical issue that might have been at least uh, partly responsible for the failure for um, Sultan Mizan Stadium okay all right um, the rule structure of the Sultan Mizan Stadium is distinctively in style that was inspired by the traditional woven made known as pandan the entire seating area is covered by a roof which is offered to um, defense from the rain and extreme heat that associate with the Malaysia tropical climates. Although the stadium was initially hailed as a great piece of sporting infrastructure, it has since encountered several difficulties and has been plagued by a various ethical issues that may have been contribute to its failure. Some of these ethical issues included um, cost overrun and mismanagement this is because large over large scale like um, stadium frequently experience a cost of runs and poor project management which uh, end up in result in financial hardship and lower quality of construction when funds allocated for public project are wasted or improperly used the local government and citizens are put under financial pressure or receive subpar facilities other than that, lack of transparency and accountability are also um, how do I say um, part of the ethical issue that might partly uh, responsible for it because the project involving that public infrastructure must be transparent and accountable in order to guarantee a fair competition and sound financial management and adherence to moral principle. A lack of accountability or transparency in the decision-making process, procurement, procedure of financial transaction involving, involving the stadium may have contributed to the, fail, to the project failure. And the third one is lack of sustainable, sustainability. Okay, this is because the stadium operating costs and maintenance expenses proved to be a burden on the local government and the financial sustainability of the stadium became a concern as the revenue generated from event hosts at the venue was not sufficient to cover ongoing expense and uh, for the neglect infrastructure okay when the stadium had a poor maintenance which led to a decline in quality of facility and service the neglect infrastructure not only affected the overall experience of spectator and athletes but also raised the concern about the public safety that can cause the failure like in 2009 which is the roof of the stadium collapsed okay 
and lastly about the corruption okay uh, the corruption uh, widespread is a widespread ethical problems that has impact number of significant infrastructure project all around the world and the Sultan Mizan Stadium was built and managed at some point and the corruption might have been involved in it like a mis in misappropriate cash bribery and other unethical action that might have slowed down the project development and diminished its quality that has led to the failure that occurred in 2009 and 2013 so um, this ethical issue might contribute to the failure of the Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Stadium while it was initially intended to be a symbol of progress and sporting excellence the mismanagement financial burden and lack of sustainable compromise its ability to fulfill its intended purpose to bring a long-term benefit to the community that's all from me thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh my name is muhammad azmi bin muhammad rizal and my id is aa19185 ladies and gentlemen i would like to discuss an important topic that affect our society the critical issue that we are talking about is the lack of professionalism and the point that relate are inadequate structure analysis and design, poor construction practice and oversight, non-compliance with building codes and regulations, inadequate material selection and testing, and insufficient risk assessment and mitigation. This factor can have several consequence on the safety and integrity of our buildings and infrastructures. Let's begin by addressing inadequate structural analysis and design. This refers to situations where buildings are not properly designed to withstand the loads they are subjected to. This can result in structural failures, collapse and endanger the lives of occupants. It is crucial that engineers and architects conduct through structural analysis and design, taking into account various factors such as the type of structure, intended usage, and environmental conditions. Moving on the next point, poor construction practice and oversight can have detrimental effects on the quality and safety of the buildings. When construction projects lack proper supervision, error and shortcut may occur. Compromising the structure integrity and longevity of the buildings. <coughs> it is imperative that construction process adhere to industry standards and guidelines to ensure quality and safety at every stage of the project. Another significant concern is non-compliance with building codes and regulation. Building codes and regulation are in place to protect occupants, ensure structural stability and promote public safety. Failure to comply with this code can lead to serious consequences. It is responsibility of builders, contractor and authorities to enforce and follow this code diligently. Furthermore, inadequate material selection and testing can greatly impact the durability and safety of a structure. The selection of substandard or unsuitable materials can weaken the overall integrity of the building. Comprehensive testing and quality control measures must be implemented to verify the strength and suitability of materials ensuring they meet the necessary standard and specification. Lastly, insufficient risk assessment and mitigation pose significant threat to the safety of building and infrastructures. Conducting through risk assessment allow potential hazards and vulnerabilities to be identified early on, enabling effective mitigation strategies to be implemented. Neglecting this crucial step can lead to unforeseen accident, compromise structural integrity and potentially catastrophic consequence. 
I think that's all from me and I will pass this presentation to my friend. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Adam Sarah Binti Anwar. My ID number is AA19178. For the discussion tree is about impact on the environment and relate it. First, noise pollution. In section 23 of the Environmental Quality Act number 127 of 174, restriction on noise pollution. It states that unless permitted, no one shall emit, cause, or let to be produced any noise that exceeds the permitted standard. In section 21, in value, intensity, or quality. Number 2. Waste pollution. In section 24 of the Environmental Quality Act number 127 of 174, restriction on the pollution of the soil. It states that he, if he establish any on any land or, or refuse dump, garbage deep, soil and rock dispose site, flood disposal site, waste injection well, or otherwise use the land for the dispose of or a repository of solid or liquid waste so as to be obnoxious or offensive to human beings. Last is traffic contagious lead to the pollution, to air pollution. Section in section 222 of Environmental Quality Act under 127 of 174 decision on the pollution of the atmosphere is state that under the license no one shall release or discharge waste into the atmosphere in violation of permitted condition outlined in section 21. That's all from me. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is Katrina Kigadi Yesu. My entry number is AA19188. For the conclusion, in conclusion, the collapse of Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Stadium highlights the critical issue of construction safety in the industry. The incident was caused by a miscalculation of the building load and it serves a reminder of the importance of adhering to ethical guidelines and prioritizing public safety. Preventing such disasters requires careful consideration of design proposals, competent construction practices, immediate action upon detecting weaknesses, and the uses of appropriate materials. Engineers need and constructors must uphold their code of ethics and remain committed to ensuring the well-being of those affected. Regular quality inspections are essential for maintaining compliance with safety standards. By addressing these concerns, we can work towards a safer and more responsible construction industry that prioritizes the protection of human lives and infrastructure. Thank you.